Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today's topic is LT Spice tutorial for beginners. So if you don't know anything about the LT Spice, I'm gonna teach you the basics of LT Spice. Okay. So let us get started. So I'll close this window, right? Just click the close button. So I close this window. Then I click on the LT Spice icon and you can see you have a fresh window popped up okay so in order to create a schematic you have to go this file either you click on the file you can see new schematic new symbol and open so or you can use this the shortcut here so you if you click on here you will get your new schematic window open okay so now you have your new schematic window maybe you can save this file let me save as lt spice basics you can click on here this is open once you click on open you will see different options here and let me show you if you have i have some file on my desktop so let's see i have some file this pwm generator in a desktop so that is how you can open a old file for simulation purpose right so i'm going to close this so let and you see this is new schematic open then this is save button this is control panel and this is simulation done button okay now if you go at this file you see here the same thing edit you can see the different symbols here hierarchy you can see open this seat symbol create a new symbol create a new seat view you can see zoom fit zoom area simulate you can see here the control panel efficiency calculation and edit simulation command right you can see here the transient analysis ac analysis dc sweep noise dc transfer and dc operating point and if you go at this tool you see the control panel you can open the control panel you can do like if you want to change the anything here you can do the modification okay you can also change the color the way you want here okay i have my own setting but you you are free to change the color of your lt spice then this is window you can tile window vertically trial horizontally cascade and everything then this is the help topic so what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna design one circuit open base circuit from the basics and i'll show you how will you choose the component where you can find the component and i'll run the the transient analysis dc operating point analysis and maybe also ac analysis and show you how you can run the different simulation in alta spice so let us create one circuit open based circuit so you see the different options here this is the cut if you have something here in your design if you want to cut just use this you can cut this okay this is the copy so let's say you have a diode here let me click and you want to copy this diode for another place you can cop create a copy okay and this is cut this is search option this is print print setup print this is where you can connect any two nodes here right this is the wire then this is ground symbol you can use directly from here this is the label you can create let's say you want to write v out so this is the label you can create here and then again this resistance capacitor diode inductor right like you can go on zoom and then zoom fit you see every component in one window right then this is the move options right just click on here and place anywhere your component is moving here 
you click on any component and it is moving wherever you want and this is let me check what happens so this is drag option let's you want to drag this net you can drag you can see guys you can use this option this option for drag your nets okay this is the control jet undo you see here i'm doing undo right and you can do here redo okay and this is you can write any text electronics circuit hub circuit hub so you can set the font side left right center whatever you want then font side 2.5 you can do this go at view again zoom fit and this is the spice directive let's say you want to write something you want to assign any parameter in your schematic you can use this spice directive so this is also very useful so this is all about how will you pick components quickly let me delete this so in order to delete i i use this cut button and i drag this and you see everything gone let us create one open base circuit now so this is the component master okay so once you click on this option component option you see this window here and you can see the different components here like if you want to choose adc you can click on here you can choose ADC, you want to choose comparator, you can click on here, then you can see here DAC, this is digital, like buffer and all, this is filter, like you see different filter here, op-amps here, you can see this is miscellaneous, you can see battery, you can see crystal, varistor, diac, triac, etc. here. You can see the opto here. You can see PC817 different things. You can choose opto power product. You can see any voltage regulator or anything. This is the references. You can see reference ICs. You can choose from it. Then special function. You can look second order filter and all these all things. Switches. You can look here whatever you want based on your requirement. Then the current source. You can see. You can see ferrite bit here. So everything, whatever you want, you get here. Short key diode, saw tooth generator, the voltage generator, like TVS diode, etc. Everything. So I'm going to use an op-amp. So in order LM741. So either you go on op-amp here and search for LM741. You can see here LM741 or else you stay on your this window and search for lm741 so i once i search for lm741 i get this i click on ok so now this is lm741 ic if you don't have this ic in your library you can go and add this ic in your library okay so so lt spice usually i don't see this part in lt spice i have added in my spice directive okay so now i want some voltage source so let me click on here and take voltage source right so i'll click on here this is my voltage source i'll take two voltage source and i'm gonna generate here one positive supply and one negative supply let me do this for you guys so this two v1 and v2 are voltage source so let me connect using wire to connect the wire you can use this point this is called wire then i'm going to connect here the ground okay you want to copy this ground use this copy symbol and copy this ground let me collect connect ground to wire and I'll, I'll add now the level net here so I'll click on here and this is my positive supply let us say so this is V plus and this is V minus I'm gonna rename this so this is V minus let me click here this is V minus this is going the supply is going to be plus 12 volt 
and this is gonna to be minus 12 volt okay okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna connect this supply here plus v and minus v so use your wire so what i'm gonna do is i'll copy this plus here and connect here i copy this minus here and i connect here okay so this is opm now you see we have two terminals of opm inverting and non-inverting so what i'm gonna do is in inverting terminal i'm gonna connect the feedback so this is r1 okay and this is r2 you can use this resistance symbol to fetch the register so this i'm gonna connect here and at this point i'm gonna connect here to r2 and then from here i'm gonna connect at output okay so if we want to i want to drag this voltage source so i'll i'll use this option like move option and then select and drag anywhere you want okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add one ground here let's say this is the ground for and r1 value here is 1k and this r2 is 10k so i'm gonna make this the non-inverting amplifier so i'll use maybe one more voltage source so i'll copy this voltage source here only and i'll connect via wire okay so use this and let's say let's say for this simulation my input voltage is sorry it i need here the advance then i use the sinusoidal signal let's say i'm using here the one volt sinusoidal signal so if you see here i use sine then one volt and the frequency is one kilohertz so that is it okay you can write one kilohertz on capital letter or a small letter that doesn't matter and you can connect your load here so this is gonna be your load so click on here then connect one more wire here maybe ground connect and let's say the load value is 10k right and the load value is 10k that doesn't matter let me drag it here connect what i'm gonna try this time just undo try using this option let's see how it works very good so i wanted to adjust from this side to this side in between and you can see that is how it's working pretty nice guys you can see drag and drop you can also if you want to do something you can feel free to do here so i think my circuit is ready here okay so this this op amp has positive and negative supply lm741 i'm giving the gain of uh this is non-inverting op amp so gain is 10 plus 1 that is 11 and your supply is 12 volt right so the gain is 10 plus 1 1 plus rf divided by r1 for non-inverting op amp so gain is 11 and i'm gonna run now the simulation so go at simulate edit simulation command and i'm gonna run this time the dc operating point just click on ok so this is happens uh, before i run the simulation i want to add the level for v out so this is v out okay and the level for v in so this is your v in okay v in and you can adjust somewhere this if you want to have some fancy look you can adjust you can place open this side maybe 
that is okay you can one jog this down that is also okay okay so i'm gonna run now the dc operating point analysis so go at simulate edit simulation command and click on the dc opp and t dc operating point click on ok once you click on ok then you have to click on this run button you see so this run button and you can see the different dc points you see so your v minus is minus 12 volt v plus is minus 12 volt you can see guys and if i want to show you the you can see the different parameters here like current voltage whatever you want you see here right so even if you click on here you see to, you can see the 12 volt return plus 12 volt this could be zero volt here i'm not sure why i'll check later and tell you this is in micro volt this is also like that the voltage this both are the same so i'm gonna undo this for now and i'm gonna run the transient analysis this time so go at transient and run the transient analysis maybe the frequency for 10 millisecond right 10 millisecond so now i place this and i'll run the transient analysis maybe you can go here trial window vertically okay so so let me show you the output voltage plus 12 volt minus 12 volt here you see the pulse of 1 kilohertz signal okay sinusoidal signal with the frequency of 1 kilohertz uh, and this is our input you see here and this is our output so as you see here your output is around if i say 10.92 right you see since your gain is 11 the gain of op-amp non-inverting op-amp is 11 10 plus 1 11 so you see your maximum input voltage is 1 okay 1 volt peak that is if you multiply 1 volt to 11 volt you are getting here the around 11 volt peak okay that means your op-amp is working as a non-inverting amplifier your input signal is 1 volt and your output signal is 11 volt now let me real quick run the ac analysis click on the run button and click on output and you see your frequency response of your operational amplifier okay so guys i hope after watching this video you are now able to create your own schematic you are able to create your own simulation you can able to run your simulation like dc operating point simulation transient analysis and lc ac analysis right if you have any further question on this topic and you can write me on the comment section i'll happy to help you